Hi, I'm Leon Poindexter. We're working on the Tea Party Ship Beaver here at the uh, Gloucester Marine Railways. In a little while, we'll go out on the boat and introduce you to the crew, and we'll catch up on what they've been doing this last week. Uh, right now, I'd like to show you what we're doing as far as making the beaver more historically accurate than she has been in the past. This is the uh, beaver when she was at the pier in Boston before we brought her up to Gloucester. And as you can see here, the vessel was in sore need of a lot of repair work. And this also gave us the opportunity to make some alterations and make her much more historically correct. This is what the beaver will look like when she's finished. This is based on a vessel called the Columbia. And the Columbia was well documented because she was the first vessel to carry the American flag around the world after the revolution. Uh, so she was well documented in her log books and in paintings of that time. Uh, from this also we learned that the sides of the vessels of that period were generally a bright yellow. And the reason for that was is they wanted these vessels to appear to be a new vessel, even if they were old. An old black vessel meant that she was slow and would be an easy prize for a uh, pirate ship or a privateer. One of the significant changes that we're making to the beaver is we're changing the way her bow looks. She previously had a round bow like this. We're going to change it to a full-headed rig, complete with headrails and a billet head. Uh, the Quakers usually decorated their vessels with a uh, billet head instead of a figurehead because they wanted to be less ostentatious. And this is the, the billet head. This would be very similar to the billet head that we'll carve for the beaver. Before we go down and catch up with Rob on what he's been doing on the stern of the beaver, uh, I'd like to explain why we're making these changes. The beaver, when she first came from Boston, uh, looked like this. Uh, the bottom part of her stern was way overcarved, and underneath here had never been finished. What we're using for our model is the uh, Columbia, because she was built in the same river as the beaver, less than a year apart. And as you can see from her stern, it's a much more simplified stern and has some round timbers. Okay, so let's leave the drawing board for now and we'll go out in the yard and see what the guys have been up to. I'm Ed Wayman, I'm from uh, Colorado. I've been building boats for probably 30 years. I built still hulls down in south, the south and uh, I came up here Start, started as the foreman here at this yard and uh, been taking care of these two wood hulls for about the last two years and they needed some help with the uh, woodwork and so I, 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 I hired on as their, their helper here. I'm Rob Stevens and I've been working on the beaver here. I've uh, been working on converting the 1902 stern to look like a 1770 stern. Hi, I'm John Gardner. I'm working here on the Beaver. I'm a boat builder and currently working on the planking. On the drawing board there, we looked at some of the modifications that we're doing to the Beaver to make her more authentic. As you can see, we've been doing some work here this last week. We've got some more planks here on the port side, and Rob is continuing with the work on the uh, transom itself there. Well, what we're working on is, is converting the stern to a 1770 stern and um, while in the process of changing the trim around and getting it more correct uh, we discovered this corner post here is rotted it's behind here and so basically now's the time to deal with it once we have that i mean basically a lot of it, the same shape will be going back on you know new windowsill what have you and then as you can see back here this is sort of a mock-up of the trim okay as rob was explaining this is a modification that we're making to the beaver uh, of course, to make her more authentic. The beaver, of course, was owned by the Quakers, so the decoration would have been fairly minimal. And uh, we've got the dimensions here worked out. We've got these pieces in place here. And this, of course, would be continued all the way across the stern gallery here. Uh, next week, we'll come back. We're going to be doing some more planking down on this side here. And we should have this area here uh, where Rob has been working on that rod area. Uh, we'll have that fairly well closed in.